he's either gonna walk out of my life and I'm never gonna see him again, or I'm gonna muster up the courage, grow the balls, and I'm gonna ask him out. That's amazing. Mm. Wow. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Thank you so much for joining me here. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make an incredibly epic, tasty, delicious salad with so much going on that you can really eat this as a meal and feel completely satisfied. I know sometimes thinking about salads, it's like, ugh, salad! And it just doesn't seem like, you know, there's a lot going on or that it's really gonna satisfy you. But if you make a salad using some of the little tricks that I'm gonna share with with you today it's a really great way to eat a super abundant delicious salad full of all different types of nutrients vitamins and minerals and it's just gonna be super tasty and filling as well and just amazing so I'm really excited to share this delicious salad with you uh, I've been getting a lot of comments from people just being like, you know, you're really inspiring me to want to eat more healthy and want to eat more just like fruits, vegetables, things like that. And I love that. It's making me feel inspired to want to share more stuff like this with you to inspire you to eat um, some delicious, tasty, uh, healthy food because it's so good for the body and for everything and it's just amazing and I love it so much. So let's get right into the salad recipe here. And basically you're gonna see if you saw my video where I shared with you the fruit and veggie haul that I did, you're gonna see that a lot of that stuff is used in here. So it doesn't, you don't have to use like the specific ingredients that I'm using. This is just like, idea to build upon you know you can use whatever you want put whatever you want in your salad that's the beauty of a salad is it can really be like whatever you want but <laughs> anyways all right let's get going so one of the key elements to make a super magnificent just like satisfying delicious salad is to have a variety of different textures i find this to just make the experience of eating it so much more enjoyable than if you're just eating some lettuce and some olive oil you know what i'm you know what i'm saying like something like that uh having different textures and flavors really makes it for a very fun, enjoyable experience. So the first thing that we're gonna put into our big salad bowl here is some spiralized zucchini. I absolutely love adding spiralized zucchini to my salad. Spiralized zucchini as well as spiralized uh, cucumber is super tasty. Today we're just having zucchini but it just makes the texture experience so much better, I'm telling you what. And you don't need one of those like super fancy spiralizers. I legit just have one. I hold it, I think it's a as seen on TV spiralizer. And I just hold it and twist it like this and it just um, is super easy and not very expensive, but I'm telling you it adds such another like epic dimension to the experience of eating a salad. And then, of course, we have our lettuce. Now, this is just some lettuce I actually picked from the garden. So it is, it is so fresh, my friends. It is still quivering. <laughs> just picked it. It's like, no, don't eat me. No, it wants to be eaten. You, you love being eaten, don't you? Yes, you do. Um, I have some lettuce in there as well as some chard. Yes, that is right, my friends. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then something I really like to add to salad is we have some tomato, some tomato here. This is like half of a heirloom tomato and then some red bell pepper. It's about half of a red bell pepper. It adds such delicious flavor, especially if you use the heirloom tomatoes because they have a lot more flavor, in my opinion, than a lot of the other tomatoes and the red bell pepper oh just so flavorful so i like to put that in there as well as there's like one difference between chlorophyll which is like plant blood and human blood and that one difference is iron so it's really really phenomenal <laughs> 
that chlorophyll and blood is like so similar so yes get into my body you are similar you are like me <laughs> all right and then the next thing that we're gonna add is uh, some grated vegetables see the different textures of having grated things and spiralized things and chopped things It's gonna make it like all the more Spectacular while you're eating it and it's just gonna be a lot more like going on So here we have grated carrot beet and cilantro Some people don't like the flavor of cilantro, so you don't have to use it uh, Another alternative to cilantro that's kind of similar would be parsley you could use that or anything really you could just leave it out like I said I'm just using what I had in the fridge so any type of vegetable that you're into you can put in your salad you do not have to discriminate all right and then oh my friends this is something that legit makes it spectacular if you like corn I would just definitely recommend doing this so I just cut this off of a corn cob. This is just raw corn. It's a whole raw corn in this bowl. And this just adds the most delicious texture and flavor. And when you get a mouthful with a bunch of these little gems in there, it's just like, it's like an amazing experience because it is juicy and sweet and crunchy and just tastes amazing. I love, love, love adding raw corn to my salad. So tasty. All right, and then something that is so amazing. I love adding cooked starches to my salad. It's so tasty. Here we have a bunch of cut up perfectly baked Japanese sweet potato. As y'all know, Japanese sweet potato is my favorite sweet potato. I just find it to have the most flavor and the most amazing texture and it's just so incredibly tasty. I do still like the other sweet potatoes, but honestly, whenever I eat a different one, I'm always like, mm, that was good, but <laughs> Japanese sweet potato. So I love putting this into my salad. I find that my favorite things really are Japanese sweet potato and kabocha squash to add to my salad because it makes it so much more tasty, so much more satisfying. And I love getting the bites where I just have a nice big mouthful. So yummy. All right, and then here's a little add-on that's real nice. This is just a cut up sheet of nori. Nori is the seaweed that you use in sushi. And I like to just put that up in my salad because it is so tasty. And then the moment I know y'all have been waiting for, the dressing. What are we going to put on this? All right, basically, this is like my favorite. I love, love, love a good avocado dressing. Yes. So here we have this beautiful avocado. If any of you all saw my sushi video, Yes, that was a Mac Daddy gigantic avocado. This is a different variety, still with the green skin, but a smaller, just like regular sized avocado. And I can tell it's perfectly ripe. My friends, you need to make sure the avocados are ripe. And basically how you do that is you like press the top. If it's a little bit squishy, kind of feel around it. Okay, that feels ready. You definitely want it to be ready because if it's not, it's just not gonna be as tasty. And if it's too ripe, it's gonna be freaking disgusting. I cannot stand too ripe avocados. They have the weirdest, most disgusting flavor. Like legit, even if I get a guacamole that's been made with avocados that are too ripe, I can taste it and I'm like, Ugh. it's disgusting. But when they're not too ripe, they're amazing. Um, all right, so this is how you gotta make your avocado dressing. Now, I'll just show you this amazing avo. Look at that beautiful color. Now, a couple of y'all in my sushi video in the comments said, y'all are allergic to avocado. So definitely don't use an avocado if that's you. Uh, my other most favorite dressing is tahini. I love using tahini. So, excuse me. You can swap out the avo with some tahini or some other fat. 
I imagine, I honestly haven't experimented with this, but I imagine you could use other type of nut butter. Oh, I think a good alternative to avo would be some blended cashews. Yum. That would be freaking delicious. So there are options for you, my friends. There are options. This is just a guideline to show you how epic a salad can be. Um, in case y'all didn't know. Have you ever seen a salad make like this? I know a lot of people in like the vegan community and the raw food community, they make epic salads, but I don't know how many of y'all are in those communities. So, you know, maybe I'm showing you something new. Maybe not, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. You're like, I've seen that a million times. That's so boring. Well. It's not, okay, it's amazing. You can see this a bajillion times and still be amazing because it's amazing. All right, so then what you gotta do is, sorry, I lift my finger. Oh no, how dare I? Smoosh it. You gotta smoosh it with your fork. See, you really want it to be nice and smushed, as smushed as you can make it, until it's kind of like, you know, guacamole type of consistency, type of texture. Which, if you ever wanted to make like a taco salad, yes. <laughs> guacamole is good on a taco salad. Maybe we'll make a taco salad someday, but not today. All right, so then, once it's nice and good and smushed and mixed, uh, we're gonna make the rest of the dressing. We're gonna do like a guac, uh, guac, gotta go, guacamole on my mind now. <laughs> hmm, guacamole. I'm not eating onions and garlic. That's okay, I still make it tasty. All right, what you gotta do, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this like a avocado miso dressing because I love avocado and I love miso and I just feel like doing it. So I'm using this three year barley miso from this really spectacular, amazing company. This miso is absolutely phenomenal. Um, we have like 12 things of it in the fridge, like different ones, but from the same company. Cause if you order like a bulk thing of a lot of misos, you get a discount. So me and my mom love this miso. Um, so just take like, I don't know, tablespoon or so of your miso. Put it in a bowl. And I'm just gonna mix it with a little bit of water here. Just to make it like a little bit more of like a paste so that it mixes with the avo real good. And sadly, y'all, this is a little bit sad, but I wanted to use a lemon because lemon juice or lime juice is just the best. But I didn't have it, and sometimes you just gotta work with what you have, you know? So we're gonna use some apple cider vinegar instead. But I've used apple cider vinegar in dressings before, and it's tasty, so don't worry. It's still gonna be real good. And we're just gonna add our miso to our avo. I have a memory that's popped in my head. So, <laughs> one time I was um, grocery shopping, I think I was like at Sprouts or Whole Foods at some or something, this was when I was living in Los Angeles, and there was this guy, and he was waiting in line, and he had like these really kind of colorful pants, and this really out there like colorful top and his hair just looked real cool and I was like, wow, he looks really cool. And I was like, all right, he's either gonna walk out of my life and I'm never gonna see him again or I'm gonna muster up the courage, grow the balls and I'm gonna ask him out. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> So I went up to him, he was standing in line, and I was like, hey, I was like, I just think, you know, you're real awesome looking, and I was wondering if maybe you'd want to hang out sometime. It was scary. I was scared, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I was nerve-wracking. I, you know, had those 
fear type feelings, but sometimes you just gotta do it anyway. You have those fear type feelings and you go into the fear and you do it. So that's what I did. I asked him out. He said yes. And uh, his name was Avo. That's why that story popped up in my head. But he, um, he was a massage therapist and we hung out a couple times and he was like real alternative and into healthy food and stuff. All right, I'm just gonna taste this real quick. I'll taste this with a different spoon. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Great combo. Mm, miso, I love miso. So I'm just gonna add a tad bit of that. And then I have some Nama show you just in case we want a little more saltiness. Um, yeah, he was a massage therapist and we hung out a couple times. Didn't end up going anywhere. We, I guess it just weren't, I don't know. We only hung out a couple times and it just kind of petered out. But, you know, sometimes you just got to go for it. Okay, so... Let me try this. I'm the only one eating it so I can use my... Ooh, that's tasty. I think it'd be much better with the lemon. So if y'all try this at home, be sure to use the lemon instead of the apple cider vinegar. You're gonna like it more, but I still like it. All right, now we're gonna add this onto that. And it's nice and thick. It's good like that, I'm telling you. Leave it nice and thick and then mix it all in. Mm. It's amazing. But he did give me a massage. Yes, he did. Because he was a massage therapist and it was amazing. He pulled out his table, you know what I'm saying? We were at his house. I laid on the table. He rubbed my body. <laughs> It felt great. Oh, and one thing that I was like really just, I'm super into good water. Like I love um, spring water and stuff like that. And he, him and his roommates, they ordered spring water in glass bottles to be delivered to the house. And I was like, oh my God. God, it's amazing. <laughs> um, it was, uh, oh, I got these real cool ones to mix it up with for y'all. Yeah. All right, now we gotta mix it. Ooh, yes. You gotta get the avo in everything. So it's a lot of mixing. I have one more thing. I was mixing away. It's sitting right here. Uh, basically, these are some amazing, incredible uh, jungle peanuts. Wild. These are wild jungle peanuts from the Amazon. Isn't that amazing? I uh, buy them. I roasted these ones actually, but they're really phenomenal raw as well. They're amazing. I activated them and then dehydrated them. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna roast them. <laughs> so I did, and they're amazing. Um, yeah, and the, the water that Avo got was those big five gallons, you know, those big blue bottles that, um, yeah, in glass. It's amazing. It's next level. I wish I was on that level, but I think it's like real expensive. Okay, we're almost done. A little more mixing and then we get to try. All right, guys, our salad is mixed. It's ready. Check it out. It looks absolutely spectacular. And now we get to try it. So 
I love eating my big, beautiful, amazing salads with chopsticks because it's so freaking awesome and fun. Might as well make your eating experience a good time. You know what I'm saying? All right, look at this incredible bite with all this stuff in it. Check that out, lots going on. Ian, let's try. Yes! When a salad can make you do the food dance, you know you done good. You know you done good. Basically, like I've been saying, there's just so many flavors and textures going on. You know, you have the crunchy things, the shredded things, the spiralized things. You got some lettuce. You have delicious bursts from the raw corn, burst of like sweet flavor. And then you just have like really, you know, soft, uh, satisfying mouthfuls of the sweet potato. Oh my God, it's amazing. Mm. Crunchy peanut, <laughs> yum, yum, yum. creamy avo dressing, you know, delicious saltiness from the nama shoyu, from the miso. It's just amazing. If anyone tries to tell me they can't get satisfied from a salad, okay, hello, make this, eat this, and tell me you ain't full and feeling real freaking satisfied. <laughs> um, all right, guys, well, that's it. That's how I made my incredible salad. And this is how you can, you know, get lots of veggies in, eat lots of delicious raw food sometimes, especially in summer. I don't always eat salads, you know what I'm saying? Like, I actually, <laughs> yeah, compared to a lot of the healthy people on YouTube, I eat a lot less salads, but when it's summer, when it's hot out, I really enjoy them, especially when they're like this. You know what I'm saying? When they're just like packed full of just so much amazing stuff. One more bite, you know, why not? Oh my God. That's amazing. <laughs> We have the most amazing noi right now. I told you on the sushi video, but it like, it makes me feel like there's some fish in here. It's fishy nori, but it's working. It tastes real good. Mm. All right, my beautiful friends. I'm gonna enjoy this and I'm so excited because <laughs> it is so tasty. I'm saying it's tasty. I hope y'all get to make this or something similar. Let me know. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I can definitely do more like this. I love y'all so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.